Hello everyone, a very good morning to all of you. I am Gulapsa, your mentor, and I welcome you once again to another session of RBI 247, whereby on a regular basis, we try to discuss certain news articles that are related to finance. So finance related important news articles we discuss karte hai in this very series called RBI 247. Apart from that, we also have another special session series whereby we try to understand, analyze and explain certain things related to the current financial happenings around us. So what we have for today? So today we are going to discuss two very important news articles. The first talks about Yuko Bank becoming the first lender, that is the first bank in India to have got the approval of RBI in order to settle trade in rupee. And the second talks about SEBI has permitted these newly uh, new investments, the new emerging investments, REITs and invests to issue commercial papers. So, in today's class, we will understand these news. Ko samjhenge. Apart from that, there are certain terms that are basically talked about or written down in the Mint newspaper. So, on that basis, we will understand these terms. And we'll try to understand what are these commercial papers. I know most of you must be knowing about it. But for those, for the benefit of those who do not know, this video is for, for you. So let's get started and begin with today's session. So the very first news whereby it says that Yuko Bank, which is one of the public sector bank in India, now, first of all, when you have to RBI JC exam, ki karte ho, apart from certain uh, explanatory questions involved uh, involving conceptual understanding certain factual questions are also asked so whenever you study about any bank try to read more about it like where is the headquarter is it a public sector bank or a private sector bank Ye basic information aapko pata honi chahiye. now these informations are important only from your phase one point of view phase one mein aise questions poochne ki sambhavna hai However, phase 2 may ask questions. Jate. So, where is the headquarter of Yuko Bank? It is in Kolkata. So, you have to know this thing. Usually, jo banks are in the headquarters in North India. Mein dekhi jati hai. But in case of Yuko Bank, its headquarter is in Kolkata. And recently, it has become the first public sector bank and the first bank in India to have got. RBI's approval in order to transact transactions, international trade transactions in terms of rupee. Now, one thing that you should connect to this news article is that in the month of July, RBI had allowed and had asked and had permitted banks to come into certain kind of trade settlements between other nations including Sri Lanka and Russia to settle trade related transactions in terms of rupee. So, rupee settlement ki baat ki gayi thi July mein, jahan pe RBI ne ye bola tha ki aap, despite aap dollars ki jaga, aap Indian rupee use kar sakte ho in order to settle any kind of trade transactions. And in this case only, in this case, it is the Yuko Bank that has gotten the permission to be to open a special Vostro account. Now, what is this Vostro account? We'll be studying in the next slide. So, a special Vostro account bana ke aap jitne bhi trade transactions hain between the Russia and India that can be done in terms of rupee. Ab simple. Now, this Vostro account will be opened with gas from Bank of Russia. So, there are a lots of bank in Russia. So, one of the bank known as the Gas Prom Bank, in case our trade settlement hogi rupee mein. Ab aage badte hai and let's talk about this Vostro account, special Vostro account. Now, there are two terms. First is Vostro and the other is Nostro. Vostro, Nostro. Now, these two talks about the same bank account. It is just the way we are referring. For example, exchange rate ke example lete hai. So, in case of exchange rate, if one currency appreciates, then the other currency related to it depreciates. But together, we are talking about the same exchange rate, right? Similarly, there are two terms, Nostro and Vostro. Vostro means your money. So, Vostro and Nostro, these are Latin terms. And they basically means, so Vostro stands for yours and Nostro stands for ours. So, iska kya matlab hua? Vostro bolta hai ki aapka paisa jo mere paas deposit mein hai, that is Vostro. 
and Nostra says my money that is in deposit at your bank. So India, Russia, if if suppose Russian money is with India, then India will be saying Vostro, your money is at deposit at my bank. For example, now what Russia will be saying, since Russia money is with India, Russia will be saying that is my Nostro account, my money at your deposit. I hope these terms are clear to you. Now let's talk in detail about what is this special rupee Vostro account. So under this special rupee Vostro account, Yuko Bank will open a separate account for the partner bank, which is a partner bank, the Gazprom Bank of Russia. Uski ek account apne bank mein khol legi and any kind of transactions that happens between India and the, and the Russia and Russia, that too in terms of rupee. So, pehle transactions kaise hoti thi? Pehle transactions hoti thi dollars mein. So, we used to trade in terms of dollars. So, India, suppose Indian importer, an Indian importer wants to import certain things from Russia. Now, this Indian importer would have to first convert its rupee into dollars and, that, and then these dollars were used to make payment to the Russian for importing any kind of gas, crude oil, kuch bhi le lo. And similarly, if Russia ko kuch karna tha, to wo bhi apne rubles ko, the Russian rubles were converted into dollar in order to be transacted. But now, since you know, after the Russia-Ukraine war, many countries have imposed economic sanctions on Russia. And since there are global supply chain disruptions and our oils and the oil supply that we were receiving from the Middle Eastern countries, wo bhi bahut kam ho gaye. Therefore, we have switched on to this method in order to get the oil import because oil as you all know it is the 85 percent requirement of our entire oil or crude oil requirement is made through imports okay simple so how does it works to yuko bank ne ek was special vostro rupee account khol diya russian bank ke naam ka now any importer who wants to import certain things from russia will have to make payment in rupee to this special Vostro account. Yuko Bank ke paas jayega or special Vostro account mein that money will be credited. So such amount will be credited to the special Vostro account and against what will the importer be getting? Against the supply of goods and services. So invoices ki against usko hum credit kar denge. Theek hai? Similarly, exporters ko bhi wahi se paisa milega and whenever exporters are paid from that Vostro account, that Vostro account will be debited. So when will a Vostro account be credited? When importers are making payment for any kind of imports that they are taking. I hope ye aapko samaj ja gaya. Now, what is the exchange rate? Ab ye question aapke dimaag mein aayega. Thik hai, rupee mein hum trade kar rahe hai. Rupee is useful for India. Maan liya. What about the Russians? Wo rupee ka karenge kya? So in that case, they will be getting that money either in dollar or in some other currency. Maybe ruble mein unko mil jayegi. And the exchange rate that will be used. So jitne bhi rupee aapke paas aaye, usko exchange karke hum Russians ko de denge. Hai? So what will be the exchange rate that we will be using? Is it fixed? It is market led. So the exchange rate is market determined. So market determined jo bhi chal raha hoga. 1 ruble is equal to how much rupees? So, jo bhi chal raha hoga, uske according, us exchange rate ko use karke payments settlement kiye jayenge. I hope this is clear to you very much. Now, let's move forward and look at the surplus amount. As I have already talked about, Vostro account mein rupee deposits hote jayenge by the importers who are Indians. And this Vostro account, the balance in the Vostro account can be used for several purposes. Now, this is important to be understood and well fitted here because questions are sakte hai. The first says that it can be used for making payments of projects and investments. So, any kind of projects or investments that, we, that the government is trying to undertake, the money can be used for that purpose. Secondly, exporters ko pay karne ke liye ya import advance ke liye un paiso ko aap use kar sakte ho. And third, agar koi aur use nahi hai, then you can use it for investing in any kind of government security, government securities, T-bills, etc. I hope this is clear to you. Now let's move forward and 
talk about a very brief information about this Gazprom Bank of Russia. It's not important nahi hai from exam point of view, but you should know how, as you know, Yuko Bank is the public sector bank. Similarly, what about the Gazprom Bank? So this Gazprom Bank was established, was op started its operation from the years from, from the year 1990, and it is one of the top three banks in Russia. Top three banks, hai, and it has been promoted and set up by the world's largest gas producer and exporter company known as this Gazprom company. Now, this is a stock holding company, a very big company, a financial institution in Russia. Mein. It has all kinds of financial services, investment banking, bahut sare subsidiaries. Hai. It is one of the largest you can see in Russia. If you talk about numbers, it provides banking and investment services to more than 45,000 crore corporates, 45,000 corporates and 3 million private clients. So, you this number se inki size pata chal hogi. You must have seen its ad in certain sports as well, jahan pe wo sponsor karte hain. It's a very huge company, theek hai? Now, let's move forward and talk about the second news article that talks about SEBI, which has permitted REITs and INVITS to issue commercial papers. First and foremost, full form kya hai? REITs and INVITS ke, jinko chahiye. So, REITs stands for Real Estate. Real Estate Investment Trust and INVITS stands for Infrastructure Investment Trust. Now, these are two very emerging instruments that we are seeing in India. Emerging is because globally they are very popular, but in India they have just started to emerge. If we talk about REITs, then they have a portfolio of all kinds of real estates and most of them are leased out. Jitani bhi real estates related uh, real, real estates related projects hai, uska jo portfolio hai, that is known as REITs. So they are very much similar to mutual funds. Yaan pe bhi portfolio hota hai, but the portfolio, as in case of mutual funds, the portfolio consists of stocks. However, in case of REITs, the portfolio consists of real estates, projects, and these are usually leased out. And second is the infrastructure investment trust. Now, INVITS are similar to this REITs and mutual funds whereby the portfolio consists of infrastructure projects to roads ho gaye ya kuch aapko dam build on karne hai ya fir aapko koi bhi infrastructure related projects hai uh, some kind of uh, dams you are making or roads parks kuch bhi aap bana rahe ho highways bana rahe ho all of these will be constituting the INVITS theek hai portfolio uska ye aayega now, SEBI, after certain conditions laid down, has allowed REITs and INVITS to issue commercial papers. Now, why is this news important? Now, these commercial papers, hai, these are very short term in nature. As you all know, these are unsecured securities that are issued by commercial banks in order to meet their short term finances. When commercial banks ko apne, ya, it can be commercial banks, it can be companies. So basically, we refer to them as companies. So any company that is in requirement of very short term fund that usually lasts up to one year, then these company issue this unsecured debt known as commercial papers in order to meet their finances. So up REITs and INVIS, as you all know, these projects are very huge, right? Bohut huge projects hote hain, millions of money are invested in it. But if they are in shortfall of any kind of fund, then now they can make use or tap the commercial papers in order to raise short-term liquidity crisis that they are facing. The short-term funds raise karne ke liye, wo commercial papers use kar sakte hain. Now one question for you, uh, one question that is for you is, CPs to mene aapko bata diye commercial papers, now there is something called CDs, Certificate of Deposits. In dono ke beech mein difference kya hai? That you need to talk about and tell me in the comment section. I hope this is clear to you. Ab eligibility dekh lete hain. Can all invits and REITs issue commercial papers? No. So ye aapko dhyan rinna chahiye. Only those REITs and invits having a net worth of at least 100 crores. Agar aapki net worth 100 crores hai, then only you can issue commercial papers. Simple. Apart from that, you need to also look into certain conditions. So you need to fulfill certain conditions 
apart from having that rupees 100 crore minimum net worth the first is abiding by the rules and regulations the guidelines the guidelines prescribed by rbi to rbi ne kuch guidelines prescribe kiye hai commercial papers ke liye what are the guidelines not important bas aapko ye pata hona chahiye ki kuch guidelines hai jo rbi ne prescribe kiye hai and you need to follow that apart from that you also need to uh, lay abide abide by the conditions of लिस्टिंग नॉर्म्स तो कुछ कमर्शियल पेपर्स लिस्ट होते हैं क्या उसके पीछे का पूरा मैकेनिज्म है नीड नॉट टू बी स्टडीड नॉट इम्पॉर्टेंट जस्ट यू नीड टू नो दैट दे नीड टू अबाइड एंड फॉलो द कंडीशन ऑफ लिस्टिंग नॉर्म्स एज प्रस्क्राइब बाई सेबी अंडर दिस रेगुलेशन वट इज द नेम ऑफ द रेगुलेशन इश्यू एंड लिस्टिंग ऑफ नॉन कन्वर्टेबल सिक्योरिटीज एंड थर्ड the commercial paper the debt the money that you are trying to raise through commercial papers should be within the overall debt limit so there is a certain debt limit for reits and invits separately under the regulations of sebi 2014 aur us limit ke andar hi aapka ye uh, jitne bhi finance aap raise karna cha rahe ho commercial papers ke dwara wo meet karna chahiye it should not over exceed the debt limit as permitted by sebi simple now let's talk about the questions first and foremost now these are trending terms in newspapers aapko pata hona chahiye you may never know kahan se kuch aa jaye zaruri nahi hai har cheez ke sath ek news associated ho we can also discuss certain terms so the first term they is recent recently in news what does burn rate refers to so sabse pehle i am not going to answer it for you so you need to first think about it from the options लॉजिकल आपको क्या लगता है इफ यू डू नॉट नो दी आंसर गूगल इट ठीक है उसके बाद आंसर करना आई हैव ऑल्सो प्रोवाइडेड अ डिटेल आंसर अबाउट व्हाट बर्न रेट्स आर और इन केस यू डू नॉट फाइंड एनी सोर्स एंड यू हैव द आंसर हियर फॉर यू सेकंड अ सेकंड क्वेश्चन से इज रिसेंटली इन न्यूज नाउ दिस इज वेरी सिंपल एंड ऑब्वियस बट येस यू शुड नो द फुल फॉर्म The BNPL is a kind of services and apps that extends small lines of credit to users, which can be used in place of cash payments. What does BNPL stands for? Simple, very obvious question. So you must be knowing the full form. And third questions that we have for you is consider and identify the correct ones. You need to identify the correct statements. So it talks about runaway. runway so there is a term in finance known as runway so what is it it is related to that the first statement says runway is the amount of time left for a company before it runs out of money so you need to identify whether the statement is correct or not the second statement says in case of equity funding companies offer fixed interest interest assets to the investors to raise money that would be paid back at a future date नाउ जिसको कंसेप्ट बिल्कुल भी क्लियर नहीं है उनके लिए थोड़ा सा चैलेंजिंग हो सकता है अदरवाइज इट इज अ वेरी सिंपल थिंग टू एलिमिनेट और टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड द थर्ड स्टेटमेंट से इज अ हायर बर्न बर्न रेट विल रिजल्ट इन स्मॉलर रन वेज सो टू टर्म्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फर्स्ट वॉट इज बर्न रेट एंड सेकेंड वॉट आर रन वेज और इनके बीच की एसोसिएशन आपको पता होनी चाहिए ठीक है let's move forward and this is for you to remember ki kaun sa bank hai which is the first bank to get rbi's approval for settlement of transactions in rupee international transactions in rupee we have already discussed just write it down in the comment section for your memory and finally we have the fifth question for today which says recently in news Uh, SEBI allowed emerging investment vehicles such as REITs and INVITs to issue commercial papers. Now, what is the eligibility criteria in terms of net worth? So, ये question obviously exam में पूछे जा सकते हैं net worth और ऐसे questions जहाँ पे profits होते हैं ऐसे questions exam में आते हैं. So, you should know the answer and you can write it down in the comment section. Now, the answers have. I have already provided here. Plus, the solution for a one question number one, two, and three has been provided. In case, अगर आपको कहीं source से नहीं पता चल नहीं पता चलता, then you can refer it here 
and the PDF. The PDF will be shared to you over the Telegram group. So this was all for today that I intended to share with you. I hope you like the session and keep learning. Till then, take care and bye-bye.